हेलो गुड इवनिंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद अ न्यू टॉपिक सो द टॉपिक व्हिच वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस टुडे इज रेडॉक्स रिएक्शंस ओके सो ऑलरेडी यू माइट हैव स्टडीड अबाउट रेडॉक्स रिएक्शन कैन एनीबॉडी टेल मी व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय रेडॉक्स रिएक्शंस व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय द वर्ड रेडॉक्स Yes, anybody? What do you mean by the word redox reactions? So the word redox, okay. So in the word itself. when we discuss about the word redox reaction so redox reactions are those reactions in which reduction okay the reduction and oxidation takes place simultaneously so both oxidation as well as reduction what it does it takes place simultaneously okay now in this chapter we are going to discuss about different uh, definitions okay of the term oxidation and reduction so what are redox reactions so redox reactions so the word itself okay when you uh, cut the word into two halves okay redox and uh, red and ox so red redox so in the reactions in which reduction and oxidation they take place simultaneously okay they are called as redox reaction so these are the two half cell reaction okay simultaneously two half cell reactions uh, it shows one at one end you will uh, see redox reaction reduction at another uh, end you will see oxidation okay so there are different definitions for this uh, oxidation and the term reduction okay so so let us see the different terms very important so from this chapter they will, they may ask you the different definitions okay so you should know all the different definition of oxidation and reduction so oxidation what do you mean by oxidation in terms of oxygen okay addition of oxygen addition of oxygen is oxidation when you see in terms of oxygen okay oxidation in terms of oxygen so that is addition addition of oxygen is called as what oxidation okay then reduction reduction what do you mean by reduction removal of oxygen okay when you remove oxygen it is called as reduction okay so these are the definition of oxidation and reduction in terms of oxygen then the second definition in terms of hydrogen okay second definition in terms of hydrogen so oxidation in terms of hydrogen is removal of hydrogen okay removal of hydrogen is called as what oxidation and what is reduction in terms of hydrogen that is addition of hydrogen okay when we say addition of hydrogen it is called as what it is called as reduction okay so these are the two terms oxidation and reduction in terms of oxy oxygen and uh, hydrogen okay so oxy uh, addition of oxygen is oxidation removal of oxygen is reduction and removal of hydrogen is oxidation and addition of hydrogen is reduction so please don't get confused between these terms okay in terms of oxygen and hydrogen okay then the next is in terms of electron very important in terms of electrons okay oxidation what is oxidation in terms of electron loss of electrons okay loss of electrons so loss of electrons is called as what it is called as oxidation so when we are discussing the different definitions so you can see there are different definitions for oxidation and reduction right in terms of oxygen in terms of hydrogen and in terms of electron so loss of electrons is nothing but what it is a oxidation and what is a reduction it is gain of electrons okay gain of electrons is called as what it is called as a uh, reduction okay then the next definition is uh, in terms of oxidation number okay in terms of oxidation number okay what is oxidation in terms of oxidation number 
increase, okay? Increase in number. So when you can see there is increase in oxidation number, then you say it is oxidation. So when there is an increase in oxidation number, then it is called as oxidation, okay? Then when there is decrease, okay, oxidation number. So when there is decrease in oxidation number, then it is called as what? It is called as reduction. So these are the different definition. Okay, so we have seen four types of definition in terms of oxygen, in terms of hydrogen, in terms of electrons and in terms of oxidation number. I hope it is clear. Okay, now there are two more terms that is oxidizing agent and reducing agent. Okay, so there are two more terms which are very important in this chapter redox reaction. That is one is a oxidizing agent, another is a reducing agent. Now, what do you mean by oxidizing agent? So, what is the role of this oxidizing agent? Okay, so oxidizing agent will oxidize other and itself undergoes reduction. Okay, remember that what is the role of oxidizing agent? It oxidizes other and itself undergoes reduction. Okay, and what is the role of reducing agent? It reduces other and itself undergoes oxidation. Okay, reduces other and itself undergoes oxidation. So these are the uh, two more terms. Okay. So these are the all terms which we are going to see in redox reaction. Okay. I hope all these terms are clear in terms of oxygen, in terms of hydrogen, in terms of electron and in terms of oxidation number. Okay. So oxidizing agent as well as we have seen what is reducing agent. Now when you see this particular uh, what here you can see, okay, when you see this particular, uh, you can see this reaction, SN plus 2, okay, I'll just highlight that, okay, so this particular reaction, if you see, okay, so what you can see here, SN, okay, when you see SN, SN is nothing but tin, right, SN is nothing but tin, so tin, what is the oxidation charge on that, it is SN plus 2, right, SN plus 2, so from SN plus 2, it has undergone the change for SN plus 4. So what you can see, there is an increase in oxidation number, right? So this is an oxidation number. So the number which is high above, so that is oxidation number. So what you can see from SN plus 2, it has undergone SN plus 4. So what you can see, there is an increase in oxidation number. So when there is increase in oxidation number, what we have told that it is a, what it is, it is a oxidation, okay? Now here, Fe, okay, when we discuss about Fe, so Fe is plus 3, okay, from plus 3, it has shown, it has gone to plus 2, from Fe plus 3 to plus 2, so what you can see, there is a decrease in oxidation number, so when there is decrease in oxidation number, then it is called as reduction, okay, now Sn plus 2, what it is doing, it is, oxi it is undergoing oxidation, so it is what, it is called as a reducing agent, so what is the role of reducing agent? It reduces other and itself undergoes oxidation. Okay. And here uh, Fe plus 3 is acting as oxidizing agent because it oxidizes other and itself undergoes reduction. Okay. So this is the definition. So which we have applied in this particular uh, equation. Okay. Next is, uh, so let us see some of the rules. Okay. So there are different rules when we are representing the uh, elements okay so oxidation numbers or oxidation state how to find the oxidation numbers or oxidation state of the uh, compounds okay so these are some of the uh, oxidation numbers which are assigned to the different uh, elements okay or the different atoms so here whenever you have atoms of different elements okay in their elementary state or in their and their allotropic form so that is your n2 when it is in its diatomic state so the, the, we call it diatomic that is n2 then cl2 o2 okay p4 and s8 so these are in its allotropic form or you can say they are in its elementary form the oxidation number okay oxidation number assigned to these elements okay in their elementary state or allotropic form is zero so whenever such uh, uh if you get some elements okay like this so what oxidation number you have to assign it is zero okay so these are some of the uh, assigned okay they are uh, uh, these oxidation numbers are assigned for these elements next is so here you can see monoatomic ions so whenever you have monoatomic ions 
ओके विच आर द मोनो एटोमिक आयोन्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल एन ए प्लस ओके सोडियम वेन इट्स लूजेस इज इलेक्ट्रॉन सो इट विल फॉर्म एन ए प्लस वन ओके मैग्नेशियम इट हैज हाउ मेनी इलेक्ट्रॉन इट इन इट्स आउटोमोशल टू इलेक्ट्रॉन सो इट विल बी इन इट्स प्लस टू स्टेट ए एल ओके अल्यूमिनियम हाउ मेनी इलेक्ट्रॉन एट द मैक्स इट विल लूज इट विल लूज थ्री इलेक्ट्रॉन सो ए एल प्लस थ्री क्लोरिन ओके हाउ मेनी इलेक्ट्रॉन इट विल इट विल गेन वन इलेक्ट्रॉन राइट सो माइनस वन इज द चार्ज सो दिस इज द चार्ज ऑफ द मोनो एटोमिक आयोन सो सेम एज द चार्ज सो वॉट इज द चार्ज ऑफ एन ए इट इज प्लस वन मैग्नेशियम इज प्लस टू अल्यूमिनियम इज प्लस थ्री chloride chloride ion is minus 1 so whatever the mono atomic ions which we take whatever its charge will be the same charge okay it will be its oxidation number or oxidation state okay don't forget it okay next is hydrogen next is what hydrogen so hydrogens hydrogen okay when it combines with a non metal okay what are the different non metals when it combines with oxygen okay it will combine with oxygen as h2o it will combine with sulfide as h2s hydrogen sulfide then it will combine with chlorine as hcl gas right hydrochloric acid then it will uh, combine with other elements okay so here whenever you see so what is the charge so whenever hydrogen will combine with its non metals okay remember that whenever hydrogen combine with its non metal what is the charge here of the hydrogen it will be in plus 1 state okay what will be the charge it is plus 1 so here each hydrogen is plus 1 so how many hydrogens are there two hydrogens so if i come take h2o okay there is each hydrogen is plus 1 so there are two hydrogens so it will be plus 2 okay and what is oxygen oxygen one oxygen charge is minus 2 so plus 2 and minus 2 the whole charge will be zero right so like this then hydrogen sulfide when we take hydrogen sulfide hydrogen is what plus 1 so there are two hydrogen so it will be plus 2 okay then sulfide charge is minus 2 so the whole charge on the molecule will be min uh, 0 right again hcl when we take hcl hydrogen is plus 1 chloride is minus 1 so the whole charge on the molecule is 0 then again when we have ch4 okay each hydrogen is plus 1 so there are four hydrogens so it will be plus 4 so the charge on carbon is plus 4 so the charge total uh, it, it will be zero right so the whole charge on this so uh, so what we have come to the point that whenever hydrogen it gets combined with the non metals what is the common charge on the hydrogen is plus 1 okay remember that it will be plus 1 each hydrogen okay we are talking about each hydrogen So it is plus one. Next, hydrogen when it combines with non met with metals. Okay, hydrogen when it combines with metals. So hydrogen when it combines with a metal. Which metal I'll take? I'll take a sodium metal. Okay, sodium. Just now we saw when we have a mono atomic ion. What will be the charge on mono atomic ion? It will be plus one. Right. As its charge, what is the charge? Sodium when it's give one electron. What will be the charge on sodium? It will be plus four. So what will be the now? Uh, so that the whole charge on the molecule, if it has to be become zero, what will be the charge on hydride? Then it will be minus one. Why? Because plus one minus one will get cancelled and it will become zero, right? So whenever hydrogen it combines with the metals, okay. So what it will, what will be the charge? It will be minus one. Okay. What will be the charge? It will be minus one. Same way. Again, if I have lithium hydride, okay. This is another. Uh, uh hydrides of lithium lithium hydride so what will be the charge of lithium is plus 1 hydride is be minus 1 so hydrogen when it combines with metal it forms hydrides okay so the charge will be uh, when it combines with metal the charge of the hydrogen or hydride will be minus 1 same way with calcium hydride okay calcium hydride what is the charge on calcium calcium is a alkaline earth metal okay so the charge is plus 2 so each hydrogen is plus 1 right so now you are to make the whole charge on this zero so each hydrogen will be minus 1 so minus 1 into 2 will be minus 2 and the calcium will have plus 2 so plus 2 minus 2 will get cancel and the whole charge will be zero is it clear okay so oxygen 
then next is oxygen. So remember that hydrogen when it combines with non-metal, you have to get what? Plus one charge and whenever it combines with metal, it will have minus one charge. Okay. Next is oxygen. So oxygen, the most common uh, is what? Okay, the co for, uh, most common charge of oxygen is minus 2. Okay, because your hydrogen is what? Plus 1. So, plus 1 into 2 will be plus 2 and this will be minus 2. So, the commonly uh, common charge of oxygen is minus 2. So, calcium oxide, another example, calcium is in plus 2. Oxygen is minus 2. Plus 2 minus 2 again, it will be 0. Okay, NaOH. Again, NaOH. Hydrogen is plus 1. Sodium is plus 1. Then, to, so, what it should be on oxygen? It should be minus 2. So, minus 2 plus 2, it will be again 0. Right. So, like this. So, most common oxygen oxidation state is minus 2. Then, oxygen, when it will be in its peroxide form. What do you mean by peroxide? Peroxide is this. Okay. This is peroxide. So, H, this is its peroxide. Okay. So, here you can see hydrogen, oxygen, oxygen and so, the o, o linkage is present. What is present? O, o linkage. So, this is called as a peroxide. So, whenever you have peroxides like hydrogen peroxide, whenever you have sodium peroxide. So, what is the oxid uh, oxygen, uh, this uh, uh, common oxidation state of oxygen? Whenever it will be in its peroxides, in its peroxides, it is minus 1. Okay. So, when oxygen is forming peroxides, what will be the charge? It will be minus 1. Okay. Then when oxygen combines with fluorine. So oxygen, when you see the electronegativity between oxygen and fluorine, fluorine is highly electronegative. So what will be the state of oxygen? Here it is what fluorine, each fluorine is minus 1. Okay. So there are two fluorines. So this will be minus 2 and here it will be plus 2. So each oxygen is what? Minus 1. So whenever your uh, oxygen combines with fluorine, you will have plus 1 and plus 2. Again, if I give you this example, so fluorine is minus 1. So there are two fluorines, so it becomes minus 2. So the charge on oxygen will be plus 2. So plus 2 and minus 2 will be 0, right? So with fluorines, whenever oxygen get combined, it will have either minus plus 1 or plus 2. I hope it is clear, okay? Then alkali metal. Just now we saw that alkali metal, whenever you have sodium, Na+, plus, K plus, okay, then Li plus. So, these are all what it is having plus 1. Oxidation state is plus 1, alkali metals, okay. Uh, I hope you uh, please note down this table, okay, very important. Then alkaline earth metals, whenever you have earth, alkaline earth metals, the charge will be what plus 2. For example, barium plus 2, magnesium plus 2, calcium plus 2, okay. So, these are the... Uh, uh, metals okay with the plus two so alkaline earth metals will have plus two charge then fluorine as fluorine is highly electronegative element it will have always minus one right fluorine will have minus one charge so for example hf okay hydrogen is plus one fluorine is minus one lif lithium fluoride li is plus one fluoride is minus one okay so here everywhere we have seen that fluorine okay so these are the uh, chart okay very important this you have to uh, uh, note down okay this particular chart so this is very important to solve or to find out the oxidation state of the given compounds okay so whenever so that is uh, that only so whenever you have all the so the sum of the oxidation number okay just now we saw that NaOH so H is plus 1 uh, Na is plus 1 this is minus 2. So, the sum of the charges, okay, in a neutral compound, it should be what? Or it should be 0. So, whenever you are seeing compound, so the sum of the oxidation number of all the metal, it should come to 0, okay? So, this is the, and whenever you have some complex, suppose I have complex like 4, okay, minus 1. Okay, so like this. So, the charge of this complex will be what? It will be minus 1. So, it will be minus 1. So, it depends upon the uh, compound. So, whenever you have complex ion, the sum of the oxidation uh, number of all the atoms in the ion will be equal to the charge of the ion. Okay. So, in a compound, when you uh, have a different elements, okay. So, electronegative atom will have negative oxidation number and less electronegative atom will have 
positive oxidation number. So just now we saw, right? When we have oxy oxygen and fluorine. So fluorine is highly electronegative element. Okay, so it will have minus one charge. So each of fluorine is minus one into two, it will be minus two and oxygen is less electronegative element than the uh, fluorine. So it will have plus two charge. So whenever, so depending upon the electronegative atom, if you have both the electronegative atoms, so you have to compare the electronegativity of the atom. So the more the electronegative will have the negative oxidation number and less electronegative atom will have positive oxidation number. I hope it is clear. Okay. So the last we will see about valency and oxidation number. So the difference between the valency and oxidation number. What is valency? Valency is nothing but the combining capacity. Okay, the combining capacity of the element. And what do you mean by oxidation number? Oxidation number is the charge. Okay, the charge which is present on the element. Okay, then valency is fixed. Valency is fixed. Okay. Valency is fixed for any particular element. Oxidation number, what? It may vary. Okay. So, oxidation number of an element, what it happens? It depends on the nature of the compound. Okay. So, valency. Valency is always a whole number. Oxidation number, it will be whole number or it will be fractional. Okay. Then valency of an element is never zero except for the noble gases. Okay. Uh, rest all the valency will be never zero. Then oxidation number of the element can be zero. So these are some of the rules when we are finding out the oxidation number. So balancing we will see in the next class. Okay. Balancing of the uh, redox reaction. So now let us solve some MCQs based on uh, the things which we have discussed. Okay. Okay, just a second. I'm just sharing the slide. Yes, can you see the slide? Okay. So, uh, what all things we have discussed in the synopsis? So, we have seen the different terms, okay? Oxidation reduction in terms of oxygen. Uh, in terms of hydrogen, in terms of electron transfer, in terms of uh, uh, in terms of electron transfer, in terms of oxidation number, then we have seen what is oxidizing agent, what is redu uh, reducing agent, right? Then we have uh, seen the rules, okay? Uh, the rules of uh, 
uh, finding out the oxidation state or the oxidation number. So what all uh, this we have to assign. So these all things we have discussed. So based on that, so let us see the questions now. Okay, so this is the first question. Which of the following is not an example of redox reaction? So these are the four examples which are given. So you have to tell me which of the following is not an example of redox reaction. Now what we know that redox reaction is a reaction. Yes. So this is based on the definition. So redox reaction is a reaction in which both oxidation and reduction takes place. Right. Simultaneously. Both oxidation and reduction takes place simultaneously. So both occurs uh, simultaneously, right? So you have to find. So uh, either how it will be one reduction, okay? So it may go reduction in terms of hydrogen, oxygen, electron transfer or oxidation number. Even you have to see oxidation. So they may also get uh, this in terms of hydrogen, oxygen, electron transfer or oxidation number. So just see which of the following is not example. So try to answer. You can use the uh, uh, chat box okay to answer so tell me let us see how you have understood the synopsis very simple okay scoring chapter so this is a uh, scoring chapter you can say yes Okay, I've got one answer from Hema. She has answered as D. What about others, which is not an example of redox reaction? Yes, other. So here, okay, when we see the uh, Monica has answered as C. Okay, now here you can see in option number A, okay, copper plus H2, giving you copper plus H2. Now here, when you see this particular example, okay, what you can see, the, the, here is oxygen. Here what happens, there is no oxygen. So there is removal of oxygen. Removal of oxygen is reduction. Then here, what happens? Your hydrogen is there, your oxygen is there. So this is oxidation. So this is a redox reaction. Fine. Then Fe2O3 to here. Now here, what happens? O3 is there. Okay, now here what you can see in Fe, there is no oxygen. So, there is reduction. Okay, then from O to O2. Okay, one more extra oxygen is there. So, this is a oxidation. So, this is also an example of uh, oxidation, redox reaction. Next, okay, so two, both these are not, these are the example of redox reaction. They have asked which is not, okay. Next, K plus F2 giving you 2 Kf. Okay, K. Now here, what you can see here in this K is plus 1. This is uh, 0, right? Here, plus 1 and minus 1. So what you can see? What you can see here? 2K, okay? So uh, so the uh, fluorine from 0, it has gone change, okay? So there is increase in oxidation number. So this is what? Increase in oxidation number, okay? So... There is a decrease in oxidation number. Okay, so this is what? This is reduction and here it is oxidation. So again, this is also example of uh, redox reaction. Last example, BaCl2 plus H2SO4 giving you BaSO4 plus 2HCl. Okay, now here what you can see only the ions are changed, right? There is ions exchange, okay, between this. So here the, there is a ions exchange. So this is a precipitation reaction. This is not a redox reaction. This is an example of precipitation reaction. So when you see the oxidation uh, state here, okay. So option number D. Yes, option number D is the not an example of redox reaction. This is an example of precipitation reaction. So, yes. So, whoever have answered as D, Hema has answered as D. Very good. Let us go for the next one. I hope it is clear. Okay. Okay. One more question. Of the following reactions, only one is the redox reaction. So, you have to identify which is one of the redox reaction. Can anybody tell me which is a redox reaction?
so your also hydride okay and your cl so your what happens so this is also a uh, precipitation reaction so no this is not a redox reaction this is also a precipitation reaction you can see only there is exchange of ions right there is a exchange of ions taking place right so ba is combining with so forth so this is also not a redox reaction then here the third one s207 minus so here also you cannot see any uh, such redox reaction so this is also no let us see the last one cus plus 2feo giving you 2cu plus 2fe plus so2 now here what you can see copper what is the oxidation state of copper here the oxidation state of copper is plus 1 okay there are two copper so it will be plus 2 so each copper is plus 1 now here the copper oxidation state is 0 so plus 1 to 0 so what is happening there is a change so there is a uh, reduction of oxidation right so this is reduction so from plus 1 uh, there is a decrease in oxidation number so it is undergoing what it is undergoing reduction okay now here your view see down uh, you see uh, what sulfur okay let us see for sulfide only so sulfide is minus 2 and now it has become what? It has become plus 4. Each oxygen is minus 2. So minus 2 into 2 will be plus, uh, sorry, minus 4. So minus 4 and this is plus uh, 4. So this is what? So this is minus 4. This is plus 4. So it will be 0. So from minus 2 to plus 4. So what happens? There is a increase, right? Increase in oxidation number. So this is what happens? This is uh, oxidation. This is oxidation. So the answer is D. Answer is D. Okay. So simultaneously, yes, Shiva Shankar has answered it. Very good. Option number D is the correct answer. So this is the reaction which is showing redox reaction. Okay. Next one. The oxide which cannot act as a reducing agent is. So which is the oxide which cannot act as a reducing agent? Which does not. What is the role of reducing agent? Reducing agent is the uh, agent which reduces other and itself undergoes oxidation right so the oxide which cannot act as a reducing agent The reducing agent is an agent which reduces other itself undergoes oxidation. Oxidation means there should be gain. Now when you see CO2, okay, carbon, carbon, what the carbon, what is the oxidation state? Each oxygen is minus 2. So there are two oxygens. So it will be plus 4, sorry, minus 4. Right, each oxygen is minus 2 into 2. It is minus 4. Then what will be the charge on carbon? It will be plus 4. So plus 4 and minus 4, it will be 0. So carbon, the maximum. So the carbon is having maximum oxidation number, right? Oxidation state of plus 4. So therefore, the carbon dioxide, it cannot act as a reducing agent. Why? Because it should accept uh, oxygen or it should accept, uh, right? So if it, it has to be acting as reducing agent. What is the role of reducing agent? It reduces other and itself undergoes oxidation. For undergoing oxidation, it should accept except oxygen but already carbon is in its highest oxidation state so carbon dioxide does not act as a reducing agent okay yes hema has answered very good carbon dioxide okay let us move for the next one zn plus 2 plus 2 electron gives you zn so this is what so this is based on the definitions okay so, what did we study in terms of electrons? So, this is in terms of electrons. So, gain of electron is what? So, there is a gain of electron. Right. So, when you have gain of electron, what it is called as? When you accept electrons, when you gain, when you take the electron, when there is a gain of electron, what the term is called as? Option B. Yes. Reduction. Very good. So, the answer is reduction. So, reduction in terms of electron is what? Uh, gain of electron. So when there is a gain of electron, then you say it is reduction. When there is loss of electron, then it is called as oxidation. Okay, so definitions very important. So based on definitions only, 
the question it was read. Next. Okay. In which of the following compound, the oxidation number of iodine is fractional? You have to tell in which of the following compound, the oxidation state, uh, oxidation number of the iodine is fractional. So the options are IF7, I3, uh, I3 minus, IF5 and IF3. So you have to find the oxidation state. So based on the rules, okay, based on the rules, you have to find the oxidation state, oxidation number of iodine. And they have asked, you have to find which is fractional, which is fractional. Now, fluorine. When we discuss about fluorine, okay. Now, fluorine uh, is what? Always it is highly electronegative. So it will have minus one. So minus one into seven, it will be minus seven. So iodine will have plus 7. So here the charge is plus 7. I hope it is clear. Right. So IF7, each iodine is minus 1. So there are 7 iodines. So multiplied by 7. So it will be minus 7. So iodine, alone iodine, the charge will be plus 7. So plus 7 and this will be sum of the neutral components should be 0. Right. So this the iodine, fact, uh, oxidation number is plus 7. Next, IF5. IF5. Okay. Fluorine, each fluorine is minus 1. How many fluorines are there? 5. So, minus 5. So, iodine will have plus 5. So, iodine will have plus 5. So, IF5 also is plus 5. Then, IF3. Each fluorine is minus 1. 3 fluorine. So, it will be minus 3. Iodine is plus 3. So, this is also how many? This is plus 3. So, iodine is plus 3 state. Now, I3 minus... I3 minus. How you are going to find out I3 minus? Yes. So here I3 minus. So iodine, we don't know. Okay. Iodine into 3 is equal to minus 1. Right. So X is equal to 1 by upon 3. So the charge is minus 1 by 3. So answer is B. Okay. So how we have found out I3 minus? We have to find out I. Right. What is the charge on I? So, what I did, I kept it as x. I kept it as x. x into 3 is equal to minus 1. Okay, the charge is what? Minus 1. So, I x into 3 is equal to minus 1. So, x is equal to, so this is multiplying. So, if it goes on the other side of that, it will become, it has to be divided. So, it will be 1 minus 3. So, what is the answer? So, which of the following compound will have oxidation of the iodine as fractional? It is? I3 minus. Is it clear? Is it clear? Yes. Hema has answered already as option B. Very good. Is it clear now? Okay. Good. Okay. So let us go for the next one. So like this, you need to find the oxidation number. Okay. Now, next. Oxidation numbers of phosphorus in PO4 3 minus sulfur in SO4 2 minus and chromium in Cr2O7 2 minus. So you have to find. Okay. Let us find the first one. PO4 3 minus. Okay. okay. PO4 3 minus. So let me write it here. PO4 3 minus. So what they want? They want the oxidation state of phosphorus. Okay. Now phosphorus, let us put it as X plus X plus. How many oxygens are there? Four oxygens. Each, each oxygen will be minus two. Right? Each oxygen is what? It is minus two. Is equal to. What is the whole charge on the compound? It is minus three. Solve it. You know how to solve the algebraic equation. So solve it. And see how much it will be. So x4 minus two is minus eight is equal to minus three. So x is equal to minus three. When it goes there, it becomes plus. So it will be. 5 plus 5. So x equals to plus 5. Okay. Next, let us find for chlorine. Chlorine. So put a put chlorine Cr2 O7 2 minus. We have to find for chlorine. So put chlorine as x. How many x? 2 times x. Okay, because chlorine are 2. So 2x plus how many oxygen atoms? 7. Each oxygen is minus 2. Right, each oxygen is minus 2 is equals to the charge on the oxygen is minus 2. 
solve this algebraic equation. Again, I'll write for SO4 minus 2. So we have to find for S, X plus each oxygen is 4. How many oxygens are there? 4. What is the charge on oxygen is minus 2. The whole charge is minus 2. Find out here also and tell me. So this is X, 4 to the minus 8 is equals to minus 2. X is equals to minus 2 plus 8. So it will be plus 6. So X is plus 6. Then here 2X minus Four, uh, 7 to the 14 is equals to minus 2. A 2x is equals to minus 2 plus 14. So it will be 12. 2x. So x is equals to 12 by 2, which is 6. So x is equals to plus 6. So which is our answer? So phosphorus is plus 5. Then sulfur is plus 6. And chlorine is plus 6. So option number D. Is it? Yes, Hema has answered it. Okay, understood. Everybody else has understood. Easy, right? So you need to know the uh, table. Okay, the table is very important here. So the table is very important. Okay. So like this, so in this uh, particular chapter, uh, the terms, based on the terms, they may ask you the question. Okay. And the uh, the questions again you can ex, uh, expect this based on the oxidation number to find the oxidation number. Okay, let us go for the next one. Fine. Next question you have to find the oxidation number of nitrogen in NO3 minus NO3 minus. So whatever we have to find now, what we need to find nitrogen. So keep it as X X plus how many oxygen atoms are there? Three oxygen atoms. What is the oxidation state of oxygen commonly? It is minus 2. The charge is minus 1. Solve this. Solve it. So just whatever they have written, okay, the uh, molecular formula. So just I have written in algebraic equation form. Okay. So find out x, 3 to the, when it is plus 3, minus 2. Okay. When you multiply, it becomes minus. So plus uh, 3 to the, 6 is equals to minus 1. So x is equals to minus 1. When you transfer here, it becomes plus 6. Okay, it becomes plus 5. So, the oxidation state of nitrogen is plus 5. So, option number D. Yes, Hema is answered. Okay, so solve this. Very important. Practice such questions. Okay, so the oxidation number of nitrogen is in NO3 minus is plus 5. Okay, let us go for the next question. Okay, the oxidation number of Mn in KMnO4 is, what is the oxidation number of KMnO4? You have to find of Mn. So, what you have to do? You have to put K is what? K is an alkali. What is common oxidation state of alkali is plus 1. Then, what is Mn is X plus. How many oxygen atoms? 4. Each oxygen atom is minus 2. The whole charge is neutral, so it will be 0. Solve this now. Solve this. 1 plus x plus 4 to the is minus 8. So this will become minus 8. 4 to the is minus 8. Okay. Is equals to 0. So x minus 7 equals to 0. So x when you transfer there it becomes plus 7. So the charge is plus 7. Option number A. Understood? So the oxidation number of Mn in KMnO4. So whatever they have asked you, you have to put it as X. So uh, potassium, as you know, it is an alkali metal. So the common oxidation state of uh, alkali metal is plus 1. Mn, we don't know. So we put it as X. Then oxygen, how many oxygen atoms are there? Four oxygen atoms are there. Each oxygen, uh, oxygen oxidation number is minus 2. So the whole charge, here you can see there is no charge. It is a neutral compound. So you have to put it as 0. So after solving this algebraic equation, okay, we are going to get what? Plus 7. Understood? So plus 7. So don't get confused. See the options how they are given. Right? Plus 7, minus 7. So here only you may do mistakes. So see the options properly and answer. Okay. 
Next one, iodine shows the highest oxidation state in the compound. So you have to find the oxidation state of iodine in each compound. And you have to tell in which compound the iodine has highest oxidation state. KI, potassium, what is the oxidation state? Common oxidation state is plus 1. So iodine is minus 1. So this is minus 1. Okay, iodine oxidation state is minus 1. Let us go for the next one, Ki3. Okay, potassium is plus 1. Then iodine, what will be the iodine oxidation state? It will be so put uh, iodine shows the highest oxidation state in which compound? Okay, so plus one. Okay, so what you have to do? Plus one. So here you can you can do like this also. Okay, if you don't get like this, I'll show you it. So this is uh, potassium is what? Plus 1. Okay, plus 1 plus x is equals to 0. So x is equals to minus 1. Right, x is equals to minus 1. Then Ki3. Ki3. Potassium is plus 1 plus x. Okay, uh, sorry, 3x. 3 times x. Plus 1 plus 3 times x. Plus 1 plus 3 times x is equals to 0. So how much it will be? So x is equals to uh, this becomes minus 1 into 3. So it becomes 1 by 3. So the oxidation state is 1 by 3. Minus 1 by 3. Next is IF5. IF5. Okay. Iodine. Put it as X plus 5. How many atoms of fluorine are there? 5. Each fluorine is minus 1 is equals to 0. So X is equals to minus 5 is equals to 0. So fluorine will be plus 5. Okay, fluorine will be plus 5. So, this becomes plus 5. Then, KiO4. KiO4. Find out again. In KiO4, potassium is plus 1. Iodine, we don't know. Put it as X plus. How many oxygen atoms? 4 oxygen atoms. How many oxygen? Oxidation state is minus 2. Whole charge is 0. So, all this plus 1 plus X minus 8 is equals to 0. So, x minus 7 is equals to 0. x is equals to plus 7. So, which is the highest? Yes, it is option number D, which is having plus 7. Is it clear? Is it clear? Okay. So, so like this, we have to find out. Okay. So, based on the, uh, you know, the oxidation state, how to find out. Okay. So, by using the, uh, the tabular, okay, whatever you know commonly this. So, you have to put this values and find the iodine. So, the highest oxidation state among these compound is plus 7. Okay. Let us go to the next question. Okay, you have to tell me the answer. The oxidation number of iodine in oxalate H2C2O4. Find out. Hydrogen, each hydrogen is plus 1. So, 2 into plus 1 plus carbon we don't know. So, 2x plus oxygen is 4 into minus 2 is equals to 0. Find out now. 2, 2 ones are 2 plus 2x minus 8 is equals to 0. 2x minus 6 is equals to 0. x Yes, find out. 2 into 1 plus 2x plus 4 into 2. 2x is equal to 6. x is equal to 6 by 2. That is plus 3. 2 3s are. So plus 3. Are you getting the same? Yes, option number B. Hima has got it as option number B. Very good. Understood? See the steps. Okay. Nothing. I have written. So, these all things we have studied in the tabular. Okay. What is the common uh, state of all these elements? Right. So, using this uh, only we are solving. So, option number B is the answer. Okay. One more question. Oxidation number of phosphorus in KH2PO2. This particular compound. So, potassium is plus 1 plus Hydrogen, number of atoms of hydrogens are 2. How many hydrogen atoms are there? Uh, we, uh, sorry, there are 2. Each hydrogen atom is plus 1 plus x 
plus oxygen atoms are two. Each oxidation uh, common oxidation number is minus two is equals to zero. The whole charge is zero. Okay, find out solve this. So plus one plus two ones are two plus x two twos are four is equals to zero. So this is three plus x minus four equals to zero. So x minus one equals to zero. X is equals to plus one. So what is the uh, oxidation name or uh, number of phosphorus? It is plus one. Understood? Yes. Okay, fine. So these uh, like this questions are there. Okay, from this particular chapter. Okay, so fine. So today we'll end the class here. I hope you have understood. Any doubts up to your so the tabular, okay, the tabular which I have shown in the synopsis, that is very important. So based on that only, all the uh, such questions you can solve, okay. So this is a very important part from this particular chapter, very scoring, okay. Okay, fine. So I hope you have understood. Okay, so I'll end the session here. We will meet in the next class. Thank you.